Okay, hi. Can you hear me now? I am Elle Fire Spray and welcome to my channel. So I'm painting Darth Maul. Whole miniature is almost like all of it black. But I don't really want to lose the edges and shadows that I have on the face because it's pretty cool. So I was thinking maybe I could try something new today. I thought I could use some of these uh, some of the masking putty and it brushed my mini in black i thought of this like 10 minutes before we started the stream so we'll see how it goes okay I'll s this is what i have and i i don't want to lose like the cool definition i have on the face so i thought maybe i could use some of this i have never used this this is from green stuff world and um uh, I don't know, I'll give it a shot. I don't know. Okay, what I want to do is just to spray the whole mini, but the face. You know, that's that's my idea. Alrighty. Let's see. So this is what it looks like inside. <laughs> that's a really weird... That's a really weird texture. Okay, get over it. I'll just grab a a bit okay it feels like it's kind of greasy but not really no it's not not greasy so that's good this is reusable they say so um we'll try it out i don't know i just thought we'll do something different and fun put it over his face sorry darth maul i i don't mean to be rude but Alright, let's just... <laughs> Guys, it looks like I'm kidnapping. <laughs> I'm like kidnapping Darth Maul. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 12 years old. Okay, whatever's left, we put in here. I don't know why I need to do sound effects for everything. So I'm gonna add some... Some black paint. I'll be using this black matte primer I'm gonna get some uh, airbrush action today how about that you didn't expect that today huh I'm gonna try okay so far so good so what we're gonna do is uh, just mainly uh, focus on the clothing and the areas everything <laughs> it's gonna be black so here we go We'll see how that uh, how that putty holds up. Okay. Okay. I think I got most of it. Sorry, that's too loud. I so he wasn't really thinking much about it. All right. I know that it's gonna be some areas around the neck that's not gonna be prime, but you know we got it all black, which is good, and it's a matte black. And let me let me get my uh, clean my airbrush really quick. There you go. Look at that! I saved the face. And then this is supposed to be reusable, so you just put it back. So whenever you need to airbrush something and you don't want everything airbrushed, or you want to make patterns of some kind, you know, if you want to do, I don't know, camo or different colors on different things. I'm thinking on some of my vehicles, this will be really kind of fun to do like doors and different areas, different colors. But yeah, masking putty. I'm going to use some Hellfire Red. And then I'll use some cyber yellow and go mango for the pupils. We'll see how it goes. It's really teeny tiny. And I'm using my nuclear white. It's nuclear, Lisa. Nuclear. Okay, let's just start with some white. I 
these are my favorite thing to paint. Said no miniature painting ever. I know that looks terrible, but I promise you it will look better. And you know what? It's glasses time. Oh, okay. Let's get some black face a bit. I hope that's focused enough for you guys. I'm, I keep trying to. Okay, so we go. How about I paint it all red and then I'll just touch up the black parts. Just a little bit like a chest action going on here. All right. Sorry, AA5s. Somebody's like, you should do a mall version of it. I've seen I've seen one actually and it looks so good. They actually like put horns in it. Don't ask me how, but I saw it on I think on on like the Legion Facebook. And holy crap. Was that pretty? <laughs> Having the ridges for this really helps. And this whole part is black back here. Part of that is because I'm still waiting to finish painting my um, my corset here. I'm working on it, as you can tell. And then I'll use some of that uh, go mango plus cyber yellow. You know what I mean? Maybe if I add some bone to it. I'm adding some zombie flesh. There we go. I don't know. It was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. If you have not watched it, I'm not gonna tell you spoilers. But within the shadows, that's just <laughs> fantastic. I'm using a dark, like a black wash. I'm gonna let that dry. Uh, and I'm gonna paint the lightsabers white because we're gonna be adding some red to it. And I want that to be as vibrant as possible. That, I'm gonna be using a couple of grays. I have three gray, two grays here that I'll be using. I got moonstone gray and slate gray. One of this one is on the cooler side, and this one more on the warmer side. Uh, probably using more of the slate gray. 
but I'll have both just in case I change my mind on how they look because I don't I won't know until I do it you know I just won't know until I do it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this gray and slight slightly no slowly slowly uh, start building so building up some highlights in here so I just want to touch the areas that you know are protruding the most. Protruding is that a word? Did I make it up? The ones that I feel like the light will be touching. Um, I don't want to make the robe with really too many stream highlights because still clothing so you want to be kind of like you just want to leave that little bit of like a satin soft finish where the belt and the boots yeah we're gonna we're not we're gonna make those shiny we're gonna make those bad boys shiny Here steps. I hope. All right. And I see that he has like an undershirt here, so we're gonna paint that in another tone. Doesn't look like much, but yeah, you are creating. You know, this is kind of like, you won't see it until you just do a couple of them, to be honest. And then you'll see it. They start showing up. Don't lose heart. You got this. Okay, that done, sorry about that. I'll keep adding a bit more of that gr slate gray. It's kind of like a, hmm, what does it look like? Slight of the mechanic is the gray. I will say, don't stone, I think. It's just kind of like a lighter gray. Make sure your paint is well like, diluted because you want it to be nice and thin. Again, we're going for soft and subtle. Not extreme highlights on this. Unless you want to. You can do whatever you want, okay? It's your mini. Just saying. Just saying. Alright. Just to add a little bit of highlight. And then he is wearing something. I guess I didn't see until now. That is another color, so I'll touch those in a sec. And I'll touch my the belt here with it too. Whoops, I have somebody that's just give me one second, guys. Sorry about that. 
I told my kids that you can interrupt me if it's an absolute emergency. So my five-year-old just came for her emergency. Can I play on the Switch? Can I play Mario, Mom? Excuse me. Because he has like some... Uh, robes. I mean, undershirt or undersuit. So I'm going to be using this purple. So let's see. I want this to be very transparent because I want just a hue. Not like a whole full-on purple in there and and I can also like highlight this with mix it with my gray for highlights you know this purple reddish purple but I don't know I just like this purple it's kind of more like a bluish purple I think it looks good with black and this one looks more blue, so I think this one works better for what I need. And you can do more reddish if you want to. I just thought purple would look cooler against that red. Otherwise, it's just a lot of red going on. The face and the saber, you know. I think this, this kind of purplish color would be a nice relief from that this this area I think it's all like uh, you know metal so you can either do like some metallic if you want to I'm gonna try to do some gray and white and see how that looks um, just gonna Find the area a little bit with my gray. This is just plain gray, uh, pure gray, let's say. Just a little pouch in there. I'll do the same thing here. I'll I'll just keep keep working on one spot just so I don't get you all dizzy. And then I uh, will just get some white and I'm just tapping now with my white okay like that just gonna give it a little bit of that metallic shine but without using metal I don't know just thought I will try something I don't even know if this is metallic but we want to make it stand out. Dang it. And we shall. Uh, okay, now we keep tapping some white on this area. Okay, so how you like this? I think it's going okay. Look at that. Sorry, I just see my ugly hands. It's okay. It's, uh, yep, something. Primed 24 minis um, to try the Green Stuff World inks so yeah we are adding that right here can't help it i don't live near near an airport or anything but they do get loud sometimes don't get me started with but the seagulls. 
gray and black mix also on the side of the shoe here. And then we'll grab uh, some just pure white. Touch some of the areas to make it look like that all right when you do highlights like this the lighter the highlight it is the smaller the space you can't see it but that's a pretty light the smaller the space you're supposed to add it to you know when you add it on it just smaller 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 because they're like reflections so mm. and i'm tapping on this part i'm not even using my brush just only tapping 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 and you get that effect of reflection these two I don't know how you guys do your I've seen very many different ways to do the sabers like some people go from like trying to make highlights in the middle some people do like highlights like from the here where it starts you know and then go upwards i think i'm gonna do that today i have done both but not sure what blending will work but we can try it that certainly will be the easier way to do it I'm gonna add some orange here at the base of this saber. Well, one of the bases, because as you can tell, there are two. Make a video with like a bunch of like things and, and, and tips that I've learned as a you know new mini painter. And also, I want to do a airbrush tutorial too, because a lot of people have feel very intimidated by an airbrush, you know. But it's really easy. So he shares some of his work with me on Discord, which is pretty cool, and. Uh, And I'm going I know I said that I will be doing something different but right now I feel like doing this and I'm gonna do it whatever shut up do what I want <laughs> I'm not talking to you I'm talking to myself I kind of wanted to give like that I don't know if I should do this one and also some white on the the very end I 
I'll wait for that to dry because I don't want my paint to uh, to get a different color. And I will be posting this finish mini uh, on my socials, so I'm sorry. But if you are here next time, I can definitely show it to you. Because I wish I had all the time in the world to paint until I'm done, but alas, I do not. Side of my brush, just so very still. And now it's light. It's alive. Oh my god, there's a terrible lightsaber noises. Right, so we'll paint all this in black. And I know that this is kind of like metallic too. I'm not gonna use metallics this time, I'm just using some of my whites instead. What do you think of that lightsaber, huh? Pretty cool. So I'll use some of my gray that I have here. I'll use, oh, I have some of these here too. I can see them. So I'm gonna highlight them. with my gray and I'll highlight this one too just using gray you guys that's it so I can see the details and then I'm going to use just some white. Barely touching. Very gentle. Very gentle. <laughs> you see? Because we put that gray, it just has a, like a really gradient in there. I'm just touching with some white the edges of the straps here by the gloves. to work on the saber and the base later on because as much as I would love to stay here with you my dears I have three children down the stairs that are gonna get hungry it's lunchtime here it's 12 30 almost But I'll be uploading this uh, on YouTube if you would like to watch it. And there is um, a VOD afterwards that you can show your friends if you want to. This was a weird stream though, but it was fun to try to try this earlier today with my new airbrush. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Something different. And I would love to do a uh, airbrush stream tutorial and answer all your questions. I'm not a pro by any means. I can share what I've learned so far about painting with the airbrush. Alright. Not too shabby, you guys. Not 
to Chevy. We did a lot. Got the cloak. I mean, robes. Uh, the saber is pretty cool. I think it looks really like it's, it is on. It is on like Donkey Kong. Um, Mr. Shuckman. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for that follow. I'm almost <laughs> finishing here. But I was just like uh, showing you here my little mall that I painted. Um, I gotta fix some things. But yeah, we got a lot done. So, thank you so much for joining me. And I would love to see your paintings. Follow me on Instagram and send me a message. Say, hey, Elle, this is what I've been working on. What do you think? Do you have any suggestions or not? If you just want me to look at it, I'll look at it. I, I want to, you know, at some point, I will get a Discord and share your works here. That will be great. I need to learn how to do that. But anyways, I'm really happy to have been painting with you this morning. And thank you for all your support. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, you know what? Paint more minis. Bye.